everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to this painting video where I will be showing you guys how I painted up this Skaven minion for my clan Scurvy army. Stay tuned. <laughs> Everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to another Clan Scurvy painting video. The Clan Scurvy train just keeps coming. We had three conversion videos for the Storm Fiends. We had last week we had a painting video on how to paint them up. And this week I'm gonna be showing you guys how I painted up the minions for the Clan Scurvy. Now I wanted I wanted to have something different for this army. I wanted them to have like little minions around, not just some giant rats or anything like that. And um, kind of like guys who are a little bit smaller than the Skaven themselves. So I, what I did first was I bought a box of Nobbler Fighters from the Ogres but I didn't have enough spare heads from the Skaven to really fit them so I had these little bits kind of half converted up from a couple of months ago I just had to add a couple of more bits here and there I had like one or two spare Skaven heads so they were able to fit on and these are Gretchen from the Arc 40k kit uh, it's this little box where you get with like a leader guy so that's why you'll see at the end of the video a lot of these guys actually have guns as well um, so it worked out really well for the conversion process so that's why a conversion video wasn't recorded for this uh, because 90% of the work was like done a few months ago kind of offhand without even thinking about doing a video for it so I really wanted to get these guys painted up and I wanted to stick with the kind of the dark drab brownie colors mixed with uh, the yellow of the clan scurvy as well um, and it worked out pretty well I got a lot of base colors down I got rack art flesh down for the skin I have to make sure to keep this here so I can remember what colors I used. Uh, for the shirt we used Steel Legion Drab. The pants I went with Mornfang Brown. That's always really nice brown to go to. And the gloves I started with were Averland Sunset, which is the standard color I like to use for any clan scurvy stuff. That's their yellow, that's what they like to use. Uh, the fur was done with Mechanica Standard Grey. Balthazar Gold was used on some parts of the weapons. Now this is kind of a new paint that I got with uh, the Mortal Realms magazine, which I have right here. So I've been trying to use that a little bit more often than usual to try and get a gist of the colour and see what it's like. It's a pretty nice colour. I do like using it. Um, so he has Zandri Dust which is for his teeth as well and some of the nails on his feet. So all the base colours were down. I don't think I missed it. I missed my fist on red on the little pouch thing on his bag. Um, so I went over the whole thing with Agrax Archshade except some of the we except the weapons actually, not some of the weapons. Um, because I wanted them to be dirty-ish they're not the cleanest looking they're pirates essentially so Agrax Urshade over the whole thing made it look really good it dirtied everything down I don't know if I went over this flesh I think it did go over the flesh yeah I did because I only used three washes all together I switched to Null and Oil to go on the weapons because I wanted the weapons to look kind of dingy not dirty because there's going to be way more other stuff going on with them that matches with the storm fiends as well so i kind of just did like a quick base or a quick shade of null and oil as well so then it was let me let me get a sip of coffee here and i used to talking so much and so yeah it was null and oil over the weapons and then i switched to seraphim sepia which i use all the time to go over the yellow of clan scurvy it's it's a nice mixture it doesn't go too dark doesn't go too bright and um, it doesn't let it stay too bright sorry I should say and it really works when you're getting it done then as well so once the shades were dry I started to move on to what I was wanting to do for the weapons now with the storm fiends I had them all the weapons all and some of their armor actually all rusted up and looked really dirty it turned out really well so this time I wanted to do it as well for the minions all their weapons have to be kind of dirty so I started off with just a little bit of typhon well not typhon uh typhus corrosion on the weapons because it can really spread across and you'll end up putting too much on it and um, but even if you do it dries really well it's a really cool technical paint i don't know how in god's name they made something like this but it's really good and um, then with the pants went over with a highlight of uh well not really a highlight but more like a layer of band blade brown steel legion drab then over the shirt to bring some of the prominent parts more to life and to get it look a little bit cleaner didn't want it to be too drabby but that kind of muted browns those earthy colors work really well for these guys i think and i really liked how it turned out in the end i wasn't too sure when i first started but they did turn out pretty decent and um, so all the kind of the highlight parts for the metal then was my usual go to storm of silver i have been tr trying to use necron compound a little bit more it's a dry brush one but i kept that more for dry brushing on the weapons as well so a highlight of stormhole silver over all the metal parts you have like the helmet 
um, his shoulder pads, shoulder pads. Actually, I think I don't think I mentioned this in the earlier video or in the earlier earlier part. In his two arms are from the Carrodron Overlords kit. It was some like unit of the a ten man unit of them that I had a box of, and there was lots and lots of arms left over. So it looks a bit weird. It looks kind of like big long arms compared to his body. But uh, they're minions, they're like the form, they're meant to be like this. So once that was all done, I started doing the rust effect on the weapons. Now, I use, you dry brush, rise of rust over. Um, like you want to do this really lightly and you want it to build up uh, pretty slowly because it's a very bright orange if it's used too much. Um, but it's amazing on how it turns out. So once that's all dry, then I dry brush over it very, very lightly with Necron compound because that is another color that you nearly want, I know with dry brushing you want as less as you can on the brush, but make sure to get extra, uh, less amount if that makes sense, for the Necron compound because it's it can overtake whatever you're dry brushing completely. Now I did make a slight mistake with the Uriel yellow, I should have just, well I wanted to try and just highlight the yellow parts and bring it to life, and it wasn't really working too much so I ended up just like layering up the whole yellow up again. Um, so that was a bit of a silly mistake. The gloves are a bit more brighter than I want them to be, but they're fine, they'll do. Um, and then we have uh, Screaming Skull over the teeth and the skulls, or over the teeth and the nails. And there you have the finished warband. Now, the only thing I really did different with the rest of them was this guy has a banner, but you, the usual colors were used, nothing too different to stick out. Dry brush, more than brown on the bottom of that banner, and it makes it look more dirtier. And um, there's the guy with the guns. You see the rust on him, looks really well with the gun and the big blade. This guy coming up, I love, I absolutely love this guy because I took off his arm and I gave him a zombie arm. It's like, hey, he has an arm missing. Let's just like stick another fake one on and he can use it for something. Uh, this guy has two big guns, which is really, two big handguns, which is really nice. And I think the, the balsa wood I use is a little bit more thicker than what I usually use for, or what I usually do use with the Storm Fiends because I think it's all I had left kind of hanging around. And this guy doesn't even have a head. I just put like a little communicator part shoved down his neck and that's going to be how to communicate with him somehow like that but i really enjoyed painting these guys up they're dark they're dingy and i really like them like that and i really enjoyed uh building them up and painting them and they were a lot of fun so hopefully you guys like this video and if you did make sure to let me know in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video